Hi guys, I'm Chris from the Tabletop Wargamers. So this video is part two of the gaming table build. In this video I'm going to be showing you uh, most of the construction work of the table. As you can see I've already got some of the wood laid out and cut in front ready to go. Um, I'm going to hopefully get most of the building done in this video and then there will be a third video in the series and that will be the finishing touches making everything look nice and painting it up and showing you guys the finished product um, so yeah definitely stay tuned for that video guys uh, I hope you find this these videos useful as uh, I'm not a carpenter myself I'm not a you know a construction worker or a you know I don't have any skills in building stuff out of wood so uh, hopefully you'll get to see that I can do it and hopefully that you'll be able to do it yourself guys and, uh, and build your own gaming tables you know so um, right let's see what we got we got uh, so what I've done I've done some work already guys as you can see down the bottom here I've actually put the supports on the sides and the back and front for the for the shelf to go on ready I think what I'll do as well I'll uh, I'll probably add another one across the middle here just to strengthen it through the middle um, and over here I've got the the large board behind there is the one I'm going to use for the shelf it's um it's MDF board I th I think it's probably about six mil or something along those lines it's not too thick but it's it's thick enough to not to not snap or break you know it's it's a nice a decent thickness and it's a decent strength board so I should make a nice shelf on the bottom there uh, where I can just store all my stuff you know I'm hoping to store all my scenery and boxes and stuff under there really uh, it'll give me a nice little storage area instead of just wasting the space under the table basically um, so I'll be cutting that later in this video and fitting it and showing you guys how I've done it so you can see that um, and also what you can see on the table here I've got these two long lengths these are now cut to the proper size I want them to the full seven by seven foot four which is what it works out to be just angle it up a bit there for you guys so you can see the full length of it so it's going to be about a foot and a half over each edge roughly I think it's about one foot eight perhaps something along those lines over each edge I'll, I'll tell you the measurements so it all later guys um, but yeah you can see how long it is it's gonna be a pretty big tabletop uh, yeah it's gonna give me a nice 6x4 playing area and it's gonna give me some nice about 6 inch pockets on each end of the table as well to store all the bits and dice and tape measures and all sorts of stuff in these these ones in the middle here these bits of wood are the the width so they're like four foot long so they'll be the, the width across there's four of them because there's gonna be two on each end and the very ends and then there's gonna be two just in from that to make the area for the pockets on each end of the table so that's why there's four um, yeah awesome so what I'll do guys I'll start drilling the holes and joining the wood and start assembling the frame and I'll just talk you through it and show you what I've done as as I do it Right, so I'll see you in a sec now. All right, so we're back. So uh, I've built the basic frame now. This is the the external framework to the table. Um, I've taken the the long sides that you can see up here and over there, and I've taken the long width sections, um, and I joined them together. I've used three screws. In each in the end in you know in the ends of each piece I got three screws in there so it'll give it a good bit of strength they're um, inch and a half inch and three quarter screws I think um, yeah so I've just cut the just fitted the pieces together now join them I've laid it roughly it's it's a little bit over this way but I've laid it roughly by the table so you can see you know how much bigger than the table the top is actually going to be so I'll walk you around a quick just to show you so yeah I'll give you an idea roughly how much bigger it's going to be than the table so 
So, yeah, I've made a few uh, changes to the plan as well whilst I've been working on this and um, I decided these are the the sections to go across the middle to hold the board onto the tabletop well as I, I was going to do two originally and a couple across the middle lengthways to hold it now I've decided instead of two I've decided to put five of these going across so I'll have like um, one in line with the edge of the table another one about a foot in one at the centre, another one about a foot in the other end, and another one right across the other end. So there'll be five bars this thick. You know, it's uh, one inch, one inch by two. It's just, uh, I think it's 22 mil by by 50 mil. It's roughly one inch by two inch. Uh, slightly under, but that that is the thickness of the wood I'm using. So that's going to be joined to the frame. About my boards, I'm using a 12 mil thick. MDF boards for the 2x4s, I'm using the three of them. So it's going to be about 12 mil down from the top. These are going to be on going across so that it all sits flush with the edge in as well. So it's, you know, it all looks neat and nice when it's all finished and done. Um, yeah, so it'll all be a nice smooth top to the, to the board then. So these are going to go on next. These are going to go on next across the middle you know where the table is positioned so it'll give it more strength I did I decided to change it because I thought two bars probably wasn't going to give me enough strength because the two bars were going to be the only points of contact on this so it was going to be roughly you know about this far apart roughly on the framework and they were the only two points taking the stress of the outside edge of the table which I thought wasn't going to be adequate basically, I didn't think it would cut it, so I decided to put another 3 in, give it 5, so then there's 5 on each side that are taking the weight load, spreading it a bit more evenly. I'm going to put 2 screws in the end of each, going through there, so I'm going to use the same screws I did on the frame, about an inch and a half, um, and they're going in, they're going through there. Uh, I'm drilling the holes out before I attach them, so I'm going to drill a hole through there, Drill into there, just a little bit in, just to, just so it avoids the splitting of the wood. Um, and yeah, that's what I'll do next, guys. I'll get back to you as soon as that's done. It'll be I'll show you in the next bit of the video. Okay, so guys, we're back. I've done the crossbars as you can see, and I've laid it on the table so you get an idea of the sort of size compared to the table. And the amount of space I'm going to be having the game on. It's going to be awesome. I really can't wait for this to get finished and so I can play on it. So I'll show you what I've done guys. I just I measured everything out. So that it would be fitting on the table on the end. Just in a bit in the middle. And just in from the other end and on the end of the table again. So that it would all the weight would be supported by the table. And now we've got five lovely contact points on the side. To take the string so as you can see I've marked it down about 12 mil which is about the thickness of my boards so they'll sit in there and they'll sit nice and flush now with the top of the unit so they'll come right down to the you know the end corners and it'll just be all gaming board right up to the other end up there and it'll look awesome so all I've done I've just marked it out I've marked down the 12 mil to the top and then I marked down another 11 mil because they're 22 mil thick pieces of wood so I marked another 11 mil for the drill holes marked out the holes drilled them then marked the wood I used the file to pierce through and puncture little holes in the wood so that it shows you where to drill then I drilled the wood and I've just screwed the two screws into each one so yeah Done that all the way along both sides, and uh, yes, yeah, it's looking good so far. It's looking really good. So, what I'll do next, guys, I will do the board for the shelf. I think next, I'll get that cut now, 
and we'll be back in just a sec when that's cut and I'll fit it in and show you what it looks like fitted. Okay, see you in a sec guys. Okay, so guys, here we are, we're back with the, the shelf has been built. There you go, you got a nice view over there, so what I did, I cut the cut a rectangle to the shape, the table, then I cut out little notches, just rough rough notches yeah you can see it's not exactly lined up it's not perfect but it does the trick you know I had to cut it in half across the middle to fit it in because it's a bit too long I couldn't even fit it on an angle to sort of get it in so I had to cut it across the middle and then just just fit it, fit it in I nailed it down with some just some tack nails along just along so as you can see it just gives me a nice bit of storage underneath the table it's just a store. I'll probably put a lot of scenery and stuff under there, guys, ready for gaming. So, guys, that is the shelf section of the table build done. It's just a 9mm MDF board cut to about 4 foot by 3 foot roughly. Then just cut little square notches at the corners just to fit on the legs. And then I just cut it in half just to fit it under. Nailed it down with a couple of tack nails. Sweet. Hey guys, so we're back. As you can see, I've made a lot of progress on the table. I've actually added in legs on each end. I've done all the lips in between all the crossbars and across the top and across the back of this piece here. So all the way around we've got the lips and I've also put these little battens in. You can see here the four of them just to hold the ta hold the board, hold the top I should say, onto the top of the table. Just sort of like to grip it in place you know stop it sliding back and forth and um, just give it a bit more stability so I decided to add legs guys as you can see we got these nice uh, these lovely legs there's two on this end and there's two at the back you can see one just there and then there's another one just there um, so I've added the four legs in because I was afraid of if somebody was to like you know lean down on this end of the table because it's such an overhang somebody just leaned all their weight on it I was worried it was going to be, it was putting all the pressure basically on this little joint here. So it was this, where there's two screws holding this piece in and the edge of the table. So I was worried it was going to snap here at some point um, and then cause the table to go. Whew. The table goes down on the floor, all the models and the terrain and miniatures just come crashing onto the floor. like So to avoid that, I've added legs. Um, I've also decided I'm going to keep the table in place permanent so this is going to be my new awesome workspace as well so yeah I might bring another table in here up at the back over here somewhere maybe in future for like um, some heavy construction projects but as this is now a lot more solid and more stable because of the legs and the grippers and everything and all the additional bars in the middle it's a lot more stable a surface to work on so I'm quite happy to work on this now I've been doing a lot of the construction work resting on it and it's, it's holding up great <laughs> yeah so what I'll do I'll show you a close up now some of the work I've done so you can see I've added in uh, I've added in these lips around the edges now they're just three screws on these end ones because they're a bit longer and I put two screws into each of these on the outside in just to give that a bit of support. Now these are just for resting the boards on just to give it a bit of extra support so it's not all on these it's on these bits as well a bit um, and the legs now obviously the legs I put four screws into the legs screwed through from that side to here before I put these bits on <laughs> forward thinking guys plan everything out plan 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 so yeah, the legs now, they, like I said, they give me, it's really solid now, you know, I can put my weight on that now, and that won't go anywhere, so it's fantastic. What I will add, I think, is another crossbar between the two, yeah, between the two legs there, across to there, just to give it a bit more strength again. You can see my shot of the shelf under there as well, brilliant. Nice storage area under the table. I'm thinking of maybe hang some camel nets down underneath the table, just go all around, just to make it look extra sweet. 
here we go we got the uh the little grippers or stoppers i call them just to stop the table sliding about now you can see that is gripped onto there tight now that is not going anywhere i got one each side and one each side over there on the other end just to hold it in place basically give it a bit of extra sturdiness so it's gripping the table the, the top's not going to be moving about now at all you know so yeah overall very very pleased with the way it's turned out and uh, very happy with it so far so that's the framework done guys that's about all I'm going to show you done in this video for part three now I'll have the tabletops um, the actual boards to go on the top cut and inlaid in place I'll also be doing the bottom of the pockets um, cutting those and fitting those in place and I'll be painting it all nice and black so it looks totally awesome rock on <laughs> so guys hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the awesome videos I'll have coming up for you guys as always, I'm Chris from Tabletop Wargamers. Keep gaming, guys.